Okay, so I decided to do, since there's one more, one week left of winter, even though it's snowing right now, um, I decided that I'm going to do, uh, wi winter favorite tags, because there's New Year's tag, um, I'm pretty sure there was a fall one, I didn't think I did that one though, but I'm pre I, I haven't found any yet, so I decided to create a winter favorites tag. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So first, favorite lip products because I want it to be different. So my two favorite chapsticks. Um, I got the Blister X for Christmas and I actually start my nails are all chips. Huh? <laughs> Blister X for Christmas and I actually started using them now. And like the berry one doesn't smell quite pleasant, but it is does its job and has SPF 15, which is great. And I also like the AOS. Um, recently, I've been liking the Sweet Mint and then the red one. I don't know what it is. But it's like fruity tropical spelling. So those are both very good. Um, put those aside. We frazzled mess. Um, the other lip products I've been liking. Let's start with the lipstick. Woo. Um, I have also been liking another Rebel lipstick, but it's more of a summer kind of color. So, not, but, so I just but I decided to mention it more as much as I mentioned in so many videos. It's a gorgeous pink peach um, brown nude. It's just that great drugstore product. Um, next is a lip gloss by Smashbox. It's a beaut. And I'm excited because I'm going to um, the Lisa Cosmetic and Fragrances sale where they have Smashbox for like almost 80% off. So um, they do it in Markham, so I'm super excited for that. Um, yeah. So that's at the end of April. So there. And it's just a pink kind of like a nude pink with a kind of like a tinge of berry when I see it. I see berry, but not ba bam berry, like a pink nude berry. That is the really confusing. <laughs> and last, this is actually quite moisturizing. It has SPF 15, but it's a CoverGirl Nature Lux um, gloss balm and 215 hibiscus. This is super moisturizing. Kind of reminds me, like the color payoff kind of reminds me of the Rebel on the Brothers. Not that I don't want any. That's that. They're all like the same kind of color zone. <laughs> right, so it's super moisturizing, perfect just for like school, so you don't want anything, but bam, but yeah. That actually said to my favorites then, because I have my whole makeup here now, instead of there. Um, so yeah. So next, my favorite eye products. So I'm going to start with what I put on first on my eyes, and this is my Elf Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. I don't think I've ever mentioned this product before. Which is quite weird, but, um, so it comes out on your hand like a light peachy color, and if that's not exactly your skin tone, it will blend out, like, but it still will leave a kind of a trace of a color, which I like because it helps moderate my lid tone kind of thing, but if you're not anything close to this color, then I will not suggest this, but I like it as a primer. Um, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, next, eye products. Mascara. Of course, I have to um, give a shout out to Maybelline Mega Blush. Uh, Lush. Mega Plush. It's almost done. I meant, I'm not going to talk a lot about this, but it's Bully Brush. And after I finish my CoverGirl mascaras, I'm going to pop beauty. I, I'm, gonna, I'm done with my mascaras for a little while now. So once I fit, unless they go on like a great sale and I'll like they're like three dollars each, I'll buy a couple more. But for now, I have this is pretty much full. I have another full tube. I have my Pop Beauty and whatever Ipsy sends me next month. So um, yeah, but the CoverGirl this is perfect for lengthening and it's I like got the waterproof one and yeah, that's it. Um, next is the CoverGirl Lash Blast. Again, I talked about this a lot. Um, it's a great, just by biting, like volumizing mascara. Yeah. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Eyes are over here. Just to remind myself. So, this is a newer purchase, but I had to talk about it. I actually wanted to compare it to what I, because I kind of 
kind of came in a substitute for my elf uh, duo eyeshadow duo. And I actually want I put, I'm gonna put the elf shadows over the primer. That's on my hand. And I need to put the bad the bronze on my wrist where there's no primer. So that's bad the bronze. And then there's sugar cookie. Alright, so as you can see, this has a lot more. And I gave that two, I gave that one swipe. A lot more pigmentation. So definitely go just a couple dollars more for the Maybelline one. But I've actually been loving this stuff um, like crazy. And yeah. I do keep the elf one just in case I want a lighter eye, but this is like a perfect go-to eye. I definitely want more. And yeah. I actually really love the packaging too. Like if you have a if you had a whole bunch, it looks so cute. That's the reason to buy something. Buy more, it look cute. Again, I mentioned this palette in so many videos. Um it's the La Estee Lauder um silky shadow ombre palette, uh, signature four palette it has cappuccino ginger drop camouflage chocolate rosemary and sandbox and once again i'm not going to bother to name what color is which but i love the pink color i love the gold color um this is not as white as it comes off on camera it's more like a cream but that's a perfect base color along with this champagne here um if i was good at smoky eyes the browns would be great too but i'm not so that's that palette it's definitely on my favorite small palette box. <laughs> um, next are my two favorite base shadows. And actually, because I used to use um, Lancome Positive, which this actually comes out quite sheer and actually feels really weird on your finger when I'm trying to swatch it. So that's that. Like If I swatch it on my hand, you can barely see that there right but um this is if you want the exact same thing just a little more of a brownie tone yabby's um seashell it just has a little more of a brown kind of tinge to it but they're pretty much the same and i was like i looked at it and i'm like oh my god so there's the yabby and there's positive I can't hold two things at once. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but one shadow that I've been from Lancome that I've been loving even more than positive, especially lately, is Delicate Lace. And this is more this is a little more of a pigmented shadow with a little more of a pink kind of undertone. But they're all three of them are that's delicate lace, that's Yabby, and then that's the other um positive. Right, so they're all great shadows. Um, you don't need all three. Yeah, my mom just gets like the Blancom gift sets, whatever she doesn't want, she gives to me. And then I got the Yabby from my Yabby set. So yeah, definitely love those two shadows. Um, I no, I'm on to face now. Wait, no, I almost forgot you. Um, this is like the Carlo Di Roma. Di Roma. Carla D. Roma uh, eyeshadow palette. This is the red one. And I, I mentioned this in a couple of videos. I just love the white color. Super pigmented. Perfect for the inner corner of your eyes. I love it. Love it, love it. So, and this is a drugstore palette. I think it has something to do with Dove. I'm not positive, but something to do with that brand. So again, that's one of my go-to palettes. Because it's Kung Fu Fighting, Faucet Lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, face products. So, um, my MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer. Hopefully, I won't need to use this in summer. My skin will be a lot better. But if I end up posting my Girls' Night In video, um, I did this whole skin routine thingy. I'm out of breath. So that's a, it's a thick concealer. Definitely, I definitely like it. Um, I just feel like it does not last through the whole day, but it's just okay because I'm only at school from seven to three, three, because I come home by three. So yeah, 
Anyways. Um, I've also been loving the Mirabella Prime. If I ever post my first impressions video on this, you guys definitely be the first to know. Um, but it is a clear primer. And for this stuff, a little goes a long way. Like a pea size amount could do your whole face. Which I was kind of skeptical, especially because it's $30 for this tube, which is smaller than a tube of toothpaste. Like a third, no, a quarter of the size. Okay, so it just looks like that, and you just rub it in. It's not the best for oily skin, but I have combination, so I made it work. <laughs> but I really liked it. Uh, if my CoverGirl foundation was not 3-in-1, I would still be using this, but I don't want to waste it, so I'll keep it, just in case I switch foundations. Um, earlier on in the winter, I've been, I loved the Mineralized Max Skin Finish in Petticoat as a whole set, like a setting thing. But actually, I've been loving it as just a blush now. Um, shimmery, I'm going to actually put it on top of the primer. I love the name, Petticoat. Right, and super shimmery. It's not super duper shimmery. It has a glow kind of shimmer in it too. So it's perfect and I like it. But I don't need blush right now because my face is burning in here. Like, oh my god. Like what stuff. Um, my last face product is this Max uh, Select Sheer Loose face powder, and I have another one now, but I've only been using that since like the beginning of March, so I cannot exactly mention that in my winter favorites. Even though I made that exception for the color tattoo, that was a completely different scenario. So it's just skin tone, if you can see there. It just blends and it feels super silky to the touch. And this was my setting powder from probably December until March. So I liked it. I keep it here just in case. I think I'm just going to continue setting my face with this powder. I put my cover girl one in my backpack. God, I'm scared. As in moisturizers, I have two moisturizers. The Neutrogena Oil Free Combination Skin Moisturizer. Um, I talked about this enough in so many different videos. So yeah. Um, on all three of my channels. And then the uh, Lush Fair Trade Fit Lotion. I have two little sample pots of these when I went to like this um, health show with my dad. I think it was something about um, healthy living or something. Right. So um, this is super moisturizing. The scent isn't as pleasant as you want but it definitely does the job i go like that a lot i feel like um i've also been loving my ooh, got a dent in it because i was sitting on the edge of the pot um but my my revive beauty blender <laughs> um it hasn't been wet since this morning so it's kind of small and up a bit but i wash this once a week and it's super good it expands like psh and I go boom, 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 and it blends the foundation really flawlessly, especially now because I've been, like, during the March break, I haven't, didn't moisturize daily, but now that I'm back to my routine, it's back to normal. Um, so that's pretty much for brushes. Now, for scents, I've been loving the Pink Sport Club. This is just the pink one. And it smells like florally fresh. And I said I mentioned that before in another favorites video, so I'm not going to talk about that anymore. And um, if you can tell, I've been liking this one. This is a spare sh um, source vanilla sugar body mist. Yes, um, it's pretty much comparable to the warm vanilla sugar by Bath and Body Works. I like just I use this one a lot more because it's in a smaller bottle and it's more portable. Lost the lid though, so I don't know how much that changes that situation. Um, favorite fashion items, um, stay, uh, infinity scarves, especially because it's cold, like, it was, it felt like negative, the, actually, I could go another row. Right, so it keeps your neck warm without all the mess of scarves, I know, I can't do this because it's hot, yeah. 
definitely have been loving that. I've been wanting to put in a favorites video. I just kept forgetting. So I was like, okay, today's the day. Um, also, I've been loving my Lululemon track pants. My teeny track pants. They're in the wash right now. So, yeah. My roots. Ooh, didn't want to drop you guys again. My root sweatpants definitely got my money's worth out of these. Um, sweatsh um, sweatshirt crop tops. So I'm wearing one now because I decided it was appropriate because I was going to mention these. Um, but this is pretty much just coral in like a cream color. Like most three, I have a dedicated like half a drawer just these shirts because I have these shirts and my leggings and I have one pair of leggings because I'm not a leggings person right so most of them are from winners I have one family or pastel but the rest of them are from winners and definitely check them out because this this one was definitely like I think like $7.99 love, love, I love the colors and everything um I didn't know if I was gonna mention it but I said why not um I've been loving my Lionel Kaylee Satchel so pretty and it's not spiky and I love it. It's amazing. I love the structure of it. My little baby. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because you guys are probably sick of hearing about it. Um, my last fashion favorite are these pair of jeans and they're from the brand Indigo Rain Skinny. Right. And the pockets are bright green. It's just a pair of blue jeans. I love them. They're the most wearable pair of jeans I have. They're not bright red or anything. Um, go great with any shirt, and they're super soft, but like they're not really stretchy. But yeah, they're soft. Um, those are my fashion favorites. I just not mentally organized. Um, actually, I've been loving this bowl. If I haven't mentioned, I love it so much. It's so cute, and I've been loving studs. These are my new little bow studs. I have seriously piles of studs now. Like, that's just my obsession over the last little while. And I'm, if you want, I could have a whole little spiel, spiel about how I do not like metal backings, and I prefer the plastic ones. I don't know why they spend the extra money giving us metal. I prefer plastic. That. Um, now, random favorites. Favorite magazines, I've been, I recently subscribed to Seventeen Magazine, and I love it. It also comes with some coupons for makeup products, which I love. Um, actually, I have the most recent ones in my purse, ready to go. So I'm definitely going to pick myself up a Color Whisper because it's $2 off, so even if it's like $7, which I'm hoping it is, it's only going to be 5 bucks, which is amazing. And then the $3 off the Bior um, facial scrub. I'm probably going to give this to my dad. I'm like, Dad, do you want to buy it for me? And, because they usually buy my face. And it has, like, this little scent. And it smells like tangerine. And it's so good. So, I'm probably going to ask him to buy that for me. Because they pay for my skin care kind of thingies. While I have to pay for the makeup. So, yeah. Seventeen Magazine. And then, J14. I have been subscribed to this magazine forever. Um, I have a pile of them. And it does the wave. It's a lot skinnier, though. Then. 17. Whatever. So those are two great magazines, especially the fashion one and the celebrity one kind of intertwines the two. Woo. Um, favorite C D. Definitely one day one direction yearbook edition. So there's like the little C D in this compartment here. It pulls out like that. And then Zane actually drew all the little doodles that you see. So like the hearts in the bottom there, the little that heart there, all the little doodles. And, the, and then it has like fan art and like letters and it's super cute and adorable. It's like a little tiny book that you can put on your bookshelf. I actually kept this song track list on it because I like it. But yeah, I definitely like that. Um, books, I could not choose between these three. Um, Save the Date, talked about this, had a whole haul in it. Uh, 13 Little Blue Envelopes. And Aces Up. This is amazing, I love it. I actually think, out of three, 
these are five for first and that's second, but they're all very close. Very close in that race. Head to head. Ooh. Favorite movie. Definitely Pitch Perfect that I watched during the winter time. The, um, I recently watched The Great and Powerful, the Oz the Great and Powerful. That was also a really, my eyebrows bothering me. Um, that was also a really great movie. Um, but Pitch Perfect was amazing. Avengers came out in the summer, so that doesn't count. But I watched Pitch Perfect on the airplane on my way from back from Cuba, so that was in January, so that, that counts. <laughs> but I like that movie. Um, yeah, and Oz. I want to check out Warm Bodies, though, and uh, Silver Lining Playbook that I missed on Playbook. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I just want to shake my iPod back around before showing my favorite apps. It says, sometimes I think I'm not normal. I get weirder, every, um, weirder, and weirder every day. So, I, I love that picture of Louie. Um, and yeah, so my favorite app, of course, has to be Pinterest. Um, I have 37 boards, 1,188 pins, and 1,400 likes. So that's just that. But I've also been loving, I'm like, I don't do selfies, I don't, I just never caught on to that. I don't like. I don't do selfies. They just don't. Right. So, but I've been loving Instagram. There's mine. And I had little monkeys on it. See that people. Like, the most recent pick is from a McDonald's dollar. Which I found and I wanted to use. But then we went through the drive through My dad paid with a credit card. Right. Snowshoes and my dog. Right. My first picture ever, though, was a picture of Liam. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, so I definitely love Instagram. Follow me, and I'll follow you. I just turned orange. I'm a color changing zombie. Um, but oh, and I'll show you my back. If you guys want what's on my iPod video, definitely get you guys one. Um, just watch Nikki Philippi's of those. Okay, here I have it saved as a photo. So my background photo for my actual like iPod's home screen is actually one I custom made. It has pictures of the Disney princesses, but just not normal Disney princesses. No. Um, so, on one side, it has them as pinup dolls. So there's Jasmine, Ariel, and Snow White. And then on the other side, it has them as zombies. So there's Belle, Cinderella, and Snow White. So I definitely love that. Um, as the both sides, like both of both words. Oh, there's also zombie Belle. Did I show Belle? Do I have Belle? No, I don't have Belle on my zombie side. So that's just zombie Belle. Just so she doesn't feel left out. Um, so yeah. Um, I haven't had any favorite artists. I've been loving Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, hands down. But I love all the same people, pretty much. One Direction. Um, ooh, the Vamps. The Vamps, the Vamps, the Vamps. They're, been, uh, they're um, a, a band that does covers on YouTube. Check them out. I'll link them down below. So I'll um, recommend them. <gasps> recommend them, and I started watching them. But they are amazing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much for singer. Colton Dixon and... James Durbin, I just um, downloaded all Colton Dixon's new album. I'll link that down below, for the iTunes link for that. I definitely like that. And, yeah. So, favorite TV shows. I have a list here of my TV shows. So, I'm just going to mention the new ones I started watching this winter. The Vampire Diaries, The Carrie Diaries, White Collar, Saving Hope, The Fate, and The Face. Um, sorry about that, guys. I had insufficient memory. Okay, so Vampire Diaries. Spoilers alert. If you're not up to date with March 18th, then do not listen to this part. Just saying. Um, so I'm so pissed off that a lark is dead and that it's snowing outside because there's Bethany and there's like... I can't remember her name and it's the enemy. Steal a Babel 9. I can't believe I forgot her name. Meredith, God, like they're wearing shorts and their outfits of days, and I'm just like, 
I have to wear my winter jacket. Things we do for free health care. Um, anyways, so Alark's dead, Jeremy's dead, and I'm hurt, and I want to cry, and yeah, but, um, I want to punch Elena in the face because, you know, maybe Jeremy could have came back to life, but no, she's a selfish little biatch, and she had to just burn him alive with the whole house and all that stuff. Very sad. If you haven't watched Vampire Diaries, you should definitely watch it. The Carrie Diaries, I'm kind of behind on that. I last episode I watched was the, the Christmas episode. Um, but I'm definitely going to get back to date. Don't worry. Um, White Collar, I'm up to date to that. There's no new episodes to the fall. Like, this is crazy. Um, but yeah. The Face, I'm still behind on that. I'm like on the third episode. But I love Coco Rocha, so I have to make time for her sometime. Just after I finish my English essay. Um, Saving Hope. It's a Canadian show. Double thumbs up. Just keep giving the thumbs up. Giving the love. Um, and the guy who plays Elijah. We, just, we don't even know what the name of the character that he plays. Me and my friends just call him Elijah. We're like, he is Elijah. But yeah. Um, we love Elijah. He's in it. Um, I don't know who else to compliment on it. But Elijah's in it. So those are all my winter favorites and it's a long video I'm sorry it's like in three parts because I keep on losing memory but yeah so I definitely tag all of you I'll tag Tiffany Lee makeup hopefully I remembered that properly this time um because I don't have my computer on and then um Kathleen's closet and Jen loves reviews no Jenna Vlog or something Jen loves reviews I'm pretty sure but her theme song is like Jenna Vlogs I feel like it's Jenna Vlogs or Jen, Jen, Jen loves reviews, something like that. But um, I take if she ever ends up watching this, I'll message her and tell her, tag her. But um, yeah. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.